Hello friends, in this video we will discuss Hoffman rearrangement. Hoffman re rearrangement, the statement of this rearrangement is statement of this rearrangement is amide on treatment of halogen specifically unsubstituted amide on the treatment of halogen in presence of a strong base give primary amine with one carbon atom less. So this rearrangement Hoffman rearrangement is also called as Hoffman degradation. So what is that? Unsubstituted amides on treatment with halogen like bromine in presence of a strong base like NaOH they give primary amines with one carbon atom less. So RnH2 primary amine will form with that Sodium halide will form with formation of Na2CO3. So this is the carbon which is removed. That's why we call this as one carbon atom less with water molecule. Two water molecules will form. Now as far as this rearrangement is concerned, exact important part of this rearrangement is its mechanism. So first let's see what is the mechanism of Hoffman rearrangement. Step 1. As this rearrangement is carried out in presence of a base, amide, first it loses a proton. So, step 1 of mechanism is deprotonation. It is deprotonation of amide is first step. So, R, C double bond O. Now, I will write this NH2 in a different fashion. Now, one of the proton from this amide is lost to give R C double bond O N H and it is present as an electron on the nitrogen. Now, this structure is rearranges itself or it is resonance stabilized in the fashion RCO minus double bond NH. So you can write down this structure in this fashion. Negative charge on oxygen, in this case negative charge will be on nitrogen as it has extra electron. As hydrogen is less electron negative, so by leaving it donates its electron to nitrogen, so this nitrogen becomes electron rich and this structure will be resonance stabilized. So, further, after loss of a proton and after resonance stabilization, now, as this reaction is carried out in presence of halogen, so step 2 is addition of halogen or halogens or nucleophile. So, attack of this nucleophile or halogen on the resonance stabilizer previous structure or step 1 structure. So, it is R C double bond O N H and this bromine molecule will be added in this structure or one of the bromine gets added on this nitrogen. So, it becomes R C double bond O N H B R. Hello bromide formation will take uh, oh, 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 sorry. Hello amide formation will take place after addition of a halogen in the amide structure after loss of a proton. So third step again as we are carrying out this particular rearrangement in presence or in excess of halo, uh, excess of alkali. Second third step is again deprotonation. That means the second proton present on this nitrogen will be lost. So it will become R C double bond O N H B R. Right. It loses again a proton to give R C double bond O N B R. Now after this step 3 
or this uh, for, uh, after loss of sec a second halogen or oh, sorry second proton step 4 is this nitrogen again further it loses the halogen to form or it undergoes a rearrangement reaction and it loses a bromine or in this case it loses a bromine or it loses halogen so fourth step is rearrangement I will write it on a new paper R C double bond O N B R this is what is after loss of second proton and this undergoes a rearrangement now rearrangement the R group present on carbon it migrates from carbon to nitrogen and while doing this while uh, taking up this step this bromine is released from from nitrogen so O double bond C N R positive charge on carbon negative charge on nitrogen and it is stabilized by formation of a double bond between carbon and nitrogen so this is isocyanate formation this is called as isocyanate now isocyanate formation can also take place in, in case of Lawson rearrangement and in case of Curtis rearrangement so this is the similarity between these two re these three rearrangement Hoffman rearrangement Lawson rearrangement and Curtis rearrangement these are the rearrangements in which isocyanate formation is take place or it take place between these three rearrangements so after this isocyanate formation this uh, or after rearrangement step this isocyanate undergo hydrolysis step to give primary amine so this primary amine formation can take place in this fashion that will be our step 5 O double bond C that is hydrolysis double bond N R and it undergoes hydrolysis for addition of water molecule and this hydroxyl group will be added on carbon double bond C OH single bond N and R further this is released as you can say a carbon dioxide and this proton is transferred to nitrogen and that gives NH2 or sorry RNH2 with loss of carbon dioxide so this is what is Hoffman rearrangement now this can be more illustrated uh, I mean I just simply I have just simplified this but this step can be uh, explained in uh, in much better manner as there is in the middle case there is formation of in some books you will find there is formation of carbamic acid is also taking place that is carbamic acid is O double bond C OH NHR this is called as carbamic acid and this carbamic acid it loses carbon dioxide and it gives RNH2 so that is what is Hoffman rearrangement now the, what are the features of this rearrangement I mean as we are uh, talking about unsubstituted amide are converted into in presence of halogen and strong base they are converted into primary amines but sometimes these unsubstituted amides they can also contain if they contain if they contain more than six or seven carbon atoms then by using halogen with strong acid sorry strong base the yield is will be less so this yield will be 
left if the amide contains six or seven carbon atoms by using these reagents the yield will be less so to maximize the yield instead of this alkali the we can we can use uh, alkali is like sodium methoxide ch3 o n a instead of noh we can use sodium methoxide if the amide contains more than 6 or 7 carbon atoms that will give you more yield so this is what is in case of yield or this is one of the important feature of hoffman rearrangement and the second rearrangement or second feature of this rearrangement is stereochemistry regarding this is regarding the yield second is regarding stereochemistry now in case of stereochemistry if amide it has a you, you can say if it it contains an asymmetric carbon then after migration of this r group from carbon to nitrogen which is taking place in hoffman rearrangement it can retain its configuration so retention of configuration take place in case of hoffman rearrangement that is conversion of amide unsubstituted amide to primary amide for example suppose we will take this example i will write this one ch2 c6h5 or ph okay and in this way this is ch3 so this is our amide or you can uh, it's i mean it's you can nomenclature its iupac nomenclature will be 2 methyl 3 phenyl propane amide now just look at its configuration whether it is now configuration for that purpose you should do what are the priority rules as it is i mean as for the cip system so we have to prioritize these compounds this structure can you name this okay i will do it for you so this carbon atom this carbon atom this carbon atom now this is attached to nitrogen and oxygen so this is first priority this is second priority this will be third priority so it is anti clockwise direction so this is s and on reaction with after we can say hoffman rearrangement in presence of bromine and noh and after hydrolysis it will give you a primary amine now this primary amine will be in the same fashion c nh2 okay now this carbon similar way it will have proton in the same direction this aromatic structure in the same orientation and this methyl group so this is retention of configuration is observed in case of hoffman uh, you can say hoffman rearrangement or hoffman degradation now there is loss of one carbon atom this carbon atom is lost during this conversion now so this is regarding features of hoffman rearrangement this is what is important now in this in case of hoffman rearrangement what is important or important thing is its mechanism all the five steps you should you have to remember them sequentially and these two features that's all thank you for watching